Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be uh, Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for September 10th to September 16th 2018. So before uh, we start and while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you that this is a general reading for Aquarius star signs. This is not your personal reading. Therefore uh, I will explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy into the spread I chose but it is up to you to make a, a sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you then you go for a uh, personal reading and to do so all that you need to know is my website listed down below in the description of this video and uh, there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And, when you make a purchase, then we schedule a, an appropriate time for your reading. So that being said, let me cut the cards and go to uh, Tarot Spread first. Now the first card, the first position, one of the four position card spread, will be regarding uh, Aquarius's topic for the week, followed by the next card, which is the core of the situation for Aquarius for the week then is the uh, challenges that Aquarius needs to overcome for the duration of the week and the last one it is a, about the uh, guidance that Aquarius can adopt um, this week or the best possible course of action. So let's see what you do have here this is going to be the eight of uh, swords I do read only with uprights so probably reverse the deck when, it, uh, when I dealt the cards so yeah, that will be the Eight of Swords. I do read only with uprights because I do use a method called Elemental Dignities and is a method used only with uprights. So uh, Eight of Swords, <clears throat> this is a, a card of a blockage uh, or this is how the, the, the book's explaining it. But uh, that card re represents a narrow mindness, and that doesn't necessarily has to be um, connected or kind of associated with blockage. It could be associated with a, a deep devotion, a devotion which you Aquarius uh, have, and you don't want to look at anything else but that thing uh, until you get it done. Now, however, the Eight of Swords, because of that, because of devotions, you don't want to hear any of something else, is a, a card causing disruptions into one communication. Small predicaments that happens into your career and into your relationship, because of your stubbornness, not even stubbornness, but unyielding state, in which you are toward a, a certain activity or toward a certain enterprises. So there will be a lot of people trying to catch up your attention, should they say that way, but for some reason you will not want to do so because you do have a, a different devotion. And just to give you a quick example of that, you know, let's say that you are single, you do have a person of interest and if I do, you know, a, a tarot hour where I answer for free, you may say, will I ever find love? You have eight of, eight of swords. Yeah, you will. Just open your eyes for the rest which are trying to catch up your attention. Because your devotion may be way too high to someone who doesn't want to have anything to do with you, all right? It's just, this is what that card may mean. And that causes disruption into the communication with the universe, if you want to say that way as well. Um, so you can actually start seeing that there are different people. I mean, there are other people there that you can do that healthy relationship with. Uh, it's, it could manifest in a many different ways, but you can expect that this particular week, you know, if you do not try to look outside of your box, you may miss not just opportunities, but also information. And that is even more scary to miss a certain information. Because if you don't have that information further down the road, you may do some uh, decisions which are based on inaccurate um, on inaccurate statements, on inaccurate uh, arguments even or missing arguments as well and the core of that situation that will be the ten of pentacles here so devotion it is all right 
and ten of pentacles in our case or in your case here it does point that it is a, a thing you have invested quite a lot in and um, it is a thing that you do have a, a great hope at so kind of like it seems that you have received a certain reassurance that if you put the work behind it then that thing is going to happen chasing that devotion is not a bad thing just here the topic points you know that you may obstruct yourself from having other options available should for some reason that thing fail that's why um, you have to work on a contingency plan plan all right a, a second plan plan b all the way to z if you want to say that way as well but um <clears throat> I do suspect having these cards is that this is a restart of something. It's a restart either of a project, of a job, or of a uh, intimate interest as well, which uh, previously in the past kind of didn't have much of a success, all right? But now since it's restarted, you had a second try, second chance, and this time around you are kind of devoted to make the things right, you know, and to develop it to its very edge should I say that way as well and uh, that's why you are ignorant for the peripheral activities which are happening around you so it does depend of uh, how aware you are of your surroundings uh, you know how that week is gonna go forward and it doesn't have to be very negative as well uh, Aquarius is I mean you can have your devotion if that is everything you have ever wanted by all means just go for it just don't don't kind of like pity yourself forward that you could have had um, you know additional undertakings there but you chose not to take uh, for the sake of that same devotion you know you have throw everything you got into it then is the challenges that you have to overcome that will be the magician and this card speaks only one thing you know how you should proceed from now on for some reason um, this uh, this goal of yours that you are going to chase for the duration of that week will require either uh, a capabilities, knowledge, you know, or a means necessary, it is most likely means necessary, in order for you to, to push it forward. And probably that is why you may kind of like be um, a, a very tight with your awareness, trying to figure out how to get to those means, you know, and, and, that, and that's why you will have that tunnel vision there upon those means, not seeing what is going on around you. And that could be a, a very dangerous state, all right? Let's say that that is a means how to finalize a project at your job, but what about your family? You know, what about your relationship as well? It's what about your friends? I mean, I'm surely they all understand, you know, your state that this is something very important for you, but you cannot ignore them completely. So the magician here points that you have to recognize the situation as the situation is, you know, and you have to recognize the um, how uh, how productive your efforts are. There is no point throwing in an effort if the result is going to be a futile one, all right? So it's very important to recognize that because the Ten of Pentacles other um, expression of that card is to invest smart and under investments I don't mean only uh, material investments here we're talking about as well time we're talking about emotions we're talking about our, our performance as well so if it isn't working out do not constrain yourself here because that card if expressed blockage and it's going to be a blockage in a certain sense because you're trying to find means which are blocking you to proceed that devotion forward you know um, so that will be a blockage how big the blockage is going to be it depends on your personal contribution if seeing that you can't get all the means necessary and yet trying to force them will be a big it will be a big trouble you will be a big trouble because you will alone contribute furthermore for the blockage that it is yet persisting uh, regarding that devotion and the guidance of how you can deal with it, this is going to be the page of wands, and that is about being um, very agile, 
you know, with your approach. The page of wands is always open for everything new. The page of wands, it is very um, aware of its personal strengths or it is about to become aware of its personal strengths. And it is trying or kind of like it is ready to try the things in a different way. Therefore, if one thing doesn't work out in in one specific way don't try to push it guys maybe you would have to take a little bit of a time here to deliberate upon your best course of action try it anew as well and what we do have with the page of wands it is a state where you can try even the crazy things that comes into your mind because you don't know what is really is going to work out here all right so how i do see that particular situation is that you are going to experiment how to overcome the blockage of your devotion, how to invest the best way into your situation so you can have the maximum resources, uh, results, excuse me, with minimum resources invested, all right? And that may not come to you in this specific week, all right? That week could be only the deliberation upon that process, but it will come to you eventually. And, I, and I'm saying that it may not come to you this week because we do have the magician here into a negative position, into a challenging position, and that is a, a quite of a difficult card to challenge. It is a, a, it is a quite a lot to challenge, all right? Maybe you will need a, a specific qualification, so think about signing off a, a certain courses that you, can, uh, that you can accomplish. Maybe you will need a certain fellowship here, so start working on that as well, if that is your case. In general, you have to recognize what you lack and what is the best way to do it with minimum effort whatsoever. Because again, being frantic about it, you know, and trying to push it is not going to solve the uh, shortage of uh, resources and the shortage of means in order to chase here your devotion and your goal. So let's see what now the Lenormand card, card has to say for you, uh, which are going to display a, a uh, event happening and uh, you should either look forward to or try to avoid. Let me shuffle now. Alright, so... The first one is the coffin, which speaks for a an ending. Ending of, we do have the anchor, which is longevity of something, not of your life, but of something, uh, and um, or, or stability. And then we do have the ship, which is. Uh, a venture in your particular case, a venture. So that is a, an ending of longevity of a venture. Why? Because you have to find a, a different way. So that is the end of a specific road regarding your devotion. You hit a, a blockage here, you hit a wall and you cannot proceed on forward in same manners as you are proceeding up right now. So what you need to do here is find a different approach, find a different way that you can invest into it, find a different way that you can pursue your goal and your goal will be pursued furthermore because we don't have the hangman. If, you do, if we do have the hangman here, the death card or the world card, it mean, that means it's it's totally over all right but here what we do have it is over of the stability of that particular um of that particular undertaking it is over of the longevity of your uh of your adventurous um approach that's why you have to find another one all right it is not all it is not that the event is finishing it is just the approach is coming to an end it, it will stop working for you that's why you have to find a, a different one so um, that being said uh, Aquarius this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for September 10 to September 16 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and I hope that you can make sense of it you know because um, as this general reading to your star sign or for the star sign of uh, Aquarius 
uh, I can explain you the uh, or I have explained the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but it is up to you to make a sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you to make the sense of them and to align them to your personal situation you go to a per for a personal reading and to do so uh, all that you need to know is my website listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings and when you do make a purchase I will contact with, I will contact you and we are going to schedule a, a appropriate time for both of us so that being said Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.